Hey, what's up folks? This will be a quick one on TileMaker. I starred TileMaker on GitHub when it first came out and I thought this is something I need to keep an eye on and then I forgot all about it and I was reminded of it via a tweet and I just tried it and holy crap is it amazing. TileMaker is a compiled executable that converts an OpenStreetMap export to vector tiles, a Mapbox formatted vector tiles. And I've been doing this with open map tiles for a long, long time. And open map tiles is awesome. It's uh, highly configurable. There's, you can, you can do it. It's great, but there's a lot. I mean, it's, it's half a dozen to a dozen Docker images and stuff going everywhere. And there's a Postgres database and it's a lot. The idea of a single executable that you can just point at a file and say, go do it is very appealing. So I just tried it out and let, let's just, while I talk about it, let's just run it. You can download pre-built binaries, which is what I did. Uh, and we'll just run that. And I'm pointing it at my Mecklenburg extract of, uh, what I do is I get like, a southeast region from Geofabric and then I use a little tool to clip that down to an area well around Mecklenburg County. And that's what I use to build my tiles. So I'm pointing it at that extract, telling it where to put it. And it has a couple sample configuration and one is with the data schema for open map tiles. So I'm giving it that config and a Lua file for that process. And I'm just gonna say, do your thing and it's going to run off and do its thing and it's going to happen so quick i'm just going to talk while it does this live so it's looking for its stuff and you can configure like this is the open map tiles config example and you can figure the layers and zoom levels and where they go there's some optional shape files from natural earth and whatnot you can you can put in the directory and then it'll pick those up as well and in lua it just and i don't know anything about lua uh, it, it looks very uh yaml yamily to me but uh, you can configure all the tags and stuff and where they go and what they do so you can configure all this stuff including apparently putting in your own shape files, which is kind of nice. And that's the configuration. And by the way, while I was just talking there, it's already done. Now this is something that in open map tiles might take 15, 20 minutes. It just did it in like, what, 55 seconds? And we got this test enemy tiles. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'll just throw it in QGIS. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Throw that in there. See, this is Mecklenburg County right here, so I capture quite a bit of area around for context. We'll just jump right in here. And this is all of our, th this is a open map tiles schemaed MB tiles file. So it, our buildings will have the the render height and and all of that stuff isn't that amazing it just rendered all of that in 55 seconds that is I, I i just can't wrap wrap my head around it 55 seconds with a single executable and you don't have to orchestrate a whole bunch of docker files now i just wanted to share that with you i mean i'm probably late to the party here but uh tile maker is kind of awesome and i think i'm gonna have to look at converting my current tile generation process over to this just for my needs it is so much faster now one thing about tile maker you should know and it has this in the readme it, it has some why use it and why you don't want to use it um this does like full generation it doesn't doesn't do like a diff generation so if you're doing the entire planet that uh, it might be less efficient than using something like 
open map tiles that can do a differential generation. So you'll have to experiment for that. But for my needs, for like the area around, a, well around a county, it's amazing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And I've got, I'm, I'm working on this other thing. Uh, ooh, sneak preview. I've been working with cloud optimized geotiffs. And I'm not a raster person, but my experiments so far have been really, th things have gone really well. And I'm going to make a long video at some point soon talking about generating them, how the performance is like on a local network, which doesn't really use all of the features of a cog, but they're, they're still very fast images, or at least you can render them that way. I'm going to put it on S3 and render directly from there, which I've already done some tests on that. And it's, it's amazingly fast uh, rendering from the cloud. And then I'm going to try to make a, a Lambda, which is a serverless function, a tile maker. So you can consume it in like a, a leaflet or a map library application. Then maybe put a elastic hash caching front end in front of that. It's going to be a long video at some point, but I'm still working on it. But that's what's coming down the pipe. I hope everyone is doing great, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.